Hi guys, so today what I want to talk about is Nikki's picks. So Nikki is a blacksmith with an artistic flair as described there. Nikki makes a variety of items including metal guitar picks, musical theme jewelry which is really cool and various promotional items and stuff as well. So I'm going to show you the card in a little bit more detail but this is how the plectrums that I've got came. Nikki is all the way in America, guys, but don't worry about the uh, the postage. The plectrums arrive really, really, very quickly. Now, I've got a couple of different plectrums I'm going to show you here. One's at the front, one's at the back, so I'll swap them around like that, as you can see. So this one here is aluminium with a little design on it, so I'll open that one in a second. And we've also got a copper plectrum as well there. So let's get this one open, shall we? Now, I'm quite a fan of metal plectrums. I've used the uh, Dunlop Tech Picks for quite a while. A lot of guitarists might think with it being metal on metal, you know, they get a harsh sound, or alternatively, you'll, be, you'll lose grip a little bit on them. I've actually found the opposite so far, anyway, in using metal plectrums in that. Um, for whatever reason, the grip seems to last a little bit longer um, over uh, man-made plectrums, over, over uh, other materials such as plastics and things. And I just seem to have a little bit of a, a more tactile response with them. But this one, like I say, is a straightforward, straightforward copper plectrum. So I'll give you a close-up of Nikki's Picks by Nikki Art. There you go. Hope you can see that, yeah? And this is the copper plectrum. So again, I'll just give you a little close-up of that so you can take a look. So it's kind of a, a classic, um, classic design insofar as you've got the, the notched side there, smoother side, uh, and a little scoop at the top, which is nice and uh, rounded off. And then of course you've got a uh, the, the playing edge as well. So there goes the guitar. There's a little, uh, a little design in the middle, which, uh, which you can feel it is, it is indented. Um, but in theory, you've got a few different playing surfaces there. Now, one of the reasons why I like metal plectrums is that uh, they, they do get a little bit of warmth in your hand after a little while. And copper with being sort of a little bit more of a malleable and a soft material, I think that's going to be really, really fun to play with. Nice design, nice size, and it's just nice to hold in the hand. So what I'll be doing is I'll be playing that uh, particular plectrum in another video, so look out for that. And then looking at the second plectrum I've got here today, this is a aluminium, so I'd expect that this would last quite a long time for playing. But there we go, kind of a, almost like a teardrop type of shape. Handmade plectrum again with the indentation, uh, the logo on the inside, and uh, just nice rounded edges, all nicely rounded off. Um, it's almost got kind of a a brushed look to it, which I don't know if the camera will pick up, but it's really quite nice. And uh, the playing edge there, which is uh, again a little bit rounded, nothing too sharp, and it's just the uh, just sort of a nice size to fit into uh, into your hand there, and where you would normally kind of rest the uh, the plectrum. So there we have it. I have an aluminium and a copper plectrum. Metal picks, like I say, I really do uh, recommend them if you've not tried one before. Check out Nikki's Picks, check out uh, Dunlop Tech Picks, every other brand that does them. They're worth having a go, don't discount them just because it would be metal on metal to your strings. And once again, strongly recommend Nikki's Picks wherever you are in the world. I'm in the UK and Nikki sent the plectrums uh, very kindly from America. Arrived very quickly, nicely packaged, nicely presented. And again, having a look at the jewellery as well. I think I might even uh, indulge in a little bit of that, but there we go. Plectrums, if you consider this a part one, so the unboxing of the plectrums, and I'll be looking at a part two where we'll be playing with these particular plectrums. And uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe for more of this content, and let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. I'll catch you later.